Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here. Welcome to the Droid Programming Lab. Now in this lab, over four sessions, we're gonna learn about what a droid is, AKA a robot. We're gonna learn how to program them, and then we're gonna have some fun races with them, okay? Uh, some programming races as well. So this should be a pretty fun lab over four sessions. There's a lot to learn, but there's a lot of fun as well. Now, if you wanna learn to program droids, we have to first understand what a droid is. Now I'm saying droid, but really what I'm talking about is a robot. Can any of you tell me what a robot is? So go ahead and shout it out. I'll pause right here so that we can hear your answer. Well, the answer is not complicated, but there are many things to consider, right? So the word robot actually comes from the word robata, which means forced labor. Okay, so if we think of robots and how we typically see them in society, they're usually doing something for humans, right? And so that's kind of where the forced labor piece comes in. But for our purposes, we say a robot has to have three things to be considered a robot. First, it has to be a machine, and it has to have a programmable brain, and it has to move a physical body, okay? So a robot has to have all three of those things, a machine with a programmable brain that can move a physical body. So now, given that definition of a robot, is a computer a robot? No, why not? Well, if you said that a computer isn't a robot because it can't move a physical body, then you're right. Remember, it has to have these three things to be considered a robot. It has to be a machine, meaning that it's been built, right, by humans, a machine, it has to have a programmable brain, and we'll learn more about programming next week. And then it has to be able to move a physical body. And because a laptop computer or a desktop computer can't move itself, it's not really considered a robot. Now, what if we took that laptop, we attached some tracks to it, and then allowed it to drive itself around? Would it then be considered a robot? If you said yes, that's correct. And because it can move itself around and do different tasks for us, then now it's considered a robot. So let's think about some robots that you've seen in your real life, right? So go ahead and shout out some places where you've seen robots in your life. So whether or not you've actually seen robots or know how to recognize them, robots are actually used in a lot of places. They're typically used to do work that humans probably don't want to do anymore, right? So if you've seen a vacuuming robot, right, um, they're, they're doing a task that humans maybe don't want to do all the time, and so that's why we use a robot, right? So some examples of robots doing tasks that we don't want to do, like vacuuming. They even have some trash collecting robots. They have robots now that actually uh, do security. And of course, you always see robots building cars in the manufacturing facility somewhere. And now robots are even becoming our companions, right? So they're keeping us company, they're talking to us, they're hanging out with us, if you will. And so robots are doing more than just tasks, they're actually becoming social. And now robots are also driving cars around for us, right? And soon they'll be driving planes. So learning about robots now will definitely help you in the future as you decide what careers you wanna go into and then also because robots will be doing so much more for us humans as the years go by, it's definitely a good time to learn about robots. Now, one of the reasons that I became interested in robots is because I used to see robots on television and in movies all the time, right? And one of the most famous robots in the world is actually R2-D2. Now, what movie was R2-D2 in? Now, if you said Star Wars, that's correct. And in the movie Star Wars, he's doing what we said robots actually do, right? Tasks that humans don't wanna do, or they're companions, or they help us out. And so R2-D2 is a robot in the movie Star Wars, and he does all of those things, right? And so another famous robot is Wally. If you've seen the movie Wally, then you know Wally's actual uh, job was to, to collect trash. 